Welcome to my lecture today. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> we gotta get more sleep. Alright. Welcome to my lecture online. Our second example of a age-related problem reads as follows. Jack is 30 years older than his son Jim. Five years ago, Jack was three times as old as his son. How old are they today? So again, we need to express x in terms of their ages in two different ways. We need to do it for today, and we'll need to do it again for five years ago. So let's do it for today. Which of the two is younger? Well, that would be his son Jim. So we can say, let x equal Jim's age today. And then we go and see that Jack is 30 years older today. So we can say that x plus 30 is Jack's age today. Now we project ourselves five years into the past. Five years ago, well, we know that Jim would be five years younger. So we can say that x minus 5 equals Jim age five years ago. And we can then say that x plus 30 minus 5 will be Jack's age five years ago. Now we need a relationship. They also tell us that Jack was three times as old as his son, and that is five years ago. So Jack's age equals three times Jim's age. And of course, that was five years ago, so we need to use their ages from five years ago. Jack's age five years ago would be x plus 25 which then is equal to 3 times Jim's age will be x minus 5. And now we solve that equation for x. So we first distribute the right side. Now we move all the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side. Minus 25, notice when I move the 3x across it becomes a negative 3x. The plus 25 becomes a minus 25 when I cross the equal sign. So let's go over here to continue. Now on the left side, we have x minus 3x, which is minus 2x on the left side, equals minus 15 minus 25, that's minus 40 on the right side. Now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient from the x, so x becomes equal to a positive 20. All right, now we go back to our definitions, and we know that x equals Jim age today. That means today Jim is 20 years old. And Jack's age today would be 30 more years, which is 50 years old. So Jim is 20 today, and Jack is 50 today. Now we can check to see if that matches what's going on five years ago. Five years ago, Jim's age would be, let's see here, we're going to use a different color because we're checking. So Jim's age would be five years less, so it would be 15. And Jack's age would be five years less, would be 45. And is that indeed three times Jim's age? And the answer is yes. 45 is three times 15, which that was the age of them five years ago. And that is how we do that.